Here we have a 2006 Land Rover Discovery 3. It's got the turbo diesel V6 engine and it's done 150,000 kilometres. This particular car is an SE and being an 06 model also came with Xenon headlights. It's a seven seater. The car is in very good clean condition. You can see just from looking at it, it's been very well looked after. I believe the car came from the central coast. It's got automatic headlights. It's got the air suspension which works perfectly. There's some photos of it up, down and on normal. I actually drove it home, um, we're in Marrickville, back to Mossman last night and took it for a good drive and it does drive absolutely beautifully. You get a very good fuel consumption from its turbo diesel V6 engine. White with black leather interior is a very, very good colour combination to have. It's very easy to keep clean. It's got the very nice five spoke Land Rover alloy wheels. It's got side steps, a tow bar, and it looks like it's got electric brakes as well. It doesn't look like a car which has been owned by a family. You just don't get family cars in this good condition after nearly 10 years. You usually get little dings in the doors and scratches on the wheels, but this is, it, it really is quite lovely. It's got reverse parking sensors, and if you're looking for a really good Discovery diesel and you're looking for a Discovery 3, you should definitely come and have a look at this car. Two-way tailgate. It's even got things like the parcel tray. If you can see in the video, one of the seats are up at the moment. The back seats fold down flat. Even opening the tailgate, we've just given a very quick wash. Normally you get grit in along here. It's very, very good. It's, it's not a car which, to me, looks like it's, it's been off-road. Looks like it's just been driven on the bitumen. Looking down the side, it's very good down this side also. Usually if these have been off-road, you usually get quite a lot of little scratches and things from trees when you've been going off-road, and this does not look like one of those cars. Have a quick look at this. Left back alloy wheel is normally the one which gets most of the damage with gutters and things, but it's very good. I believe it's registered till November 2015. It's got a very good service history to it. Someone's really looked after this car. And that's what you want. If you're buying a Discovery, you want a car which has been looked after. You don't want a car which hasn't been serviced on time, doesn't have a logbook, etc. You can tell it's got the Xenon headlights because of this bulb here. It looks better when they're on, but I actually think it actually looks better generally as well. These look very similar to the current model. In fact, they're almost identical. They just have slightly different lights and wheels and a few little upgrades. But the shape has remained the same for a very long time. And as I mentioned earlier, if you're looking for a good one, you should come and have a look at this car. We think it represents excellent value and being a diesel, if well looked after, there's no reason why it shouldn't have two, three, hundred thousand kilometers plus. So it's still got a long life ahead of it. As long as whoever buys it keeps it in you know, a similar sort of condition mechanically as it has been, there shouldn't be any problems at all. And one last look down this side of the car, if you can adjust there, it's absolutely excellent. So this is the car which I would say is we are very proud to offer you here at the Old Timer Centre in Marrickville. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to hearing from you.